everyone, I'm here with um, a new reading that's going to be up on my shop for the month of November that I wanted to let you know about. Also to show you this spread because um, you can use it for yourself. You can do these readings for yourself, so it might be useful for you. This is a bit of a controversial spread, so I know not everyone's going to like this, but I call this the Behind the Veil reading. And what it's for is you can use it definitely for yourself. When you want to know, why did I do that? Or why did I um, choose or decide to do that thing? What's behind that? And this can be really great for shadow work where you're like, I don't understand why I always act this way when this happens. Conversely, you can also use it for when you're not understanding why someone else is doing something. When someone's being sneaky or someone's up to something and you're like, what's going on and why are they doing this? Now, some people don't believe you should read about what other people are doing or not doing, but I believe that if someone's in your life, they affect you um, and that, you know, you can never read a person's mind anyway. And the cards will only show you the things that you need to know for yourself. And really, this reading also comes down to what are you going to do about it? You can't change someone else. But if you understand some of the dynamics that are going on, you can maybe change the way that you're reacting to things or doing things. So, you know, please, you know, don't leave hateful comments or whatever, but you can use this uh, reading to understand yourself, to better understand what's going on with someone else, or to understand a dynamic that's going on. So let's get started with the different positions. Um, so the first position here is what is the source of things? So just so you know, I am using the Shadowscapes Tarot for this particular example. What are, what's the source of what's going on here? So um, I predict, uh, depicted a particular example in my life, which I won't go into in great detail, but basically someone that has been acting, you know, negatively towards me. And says the source of this, we have the Nine of Wands here, is stubbornness, holding on to an idea, uh, holding fast to something and not wanting to let go of things. So not willing to make changes. And this could be in either, you know, this person or in myself as well. So it really comes down to stubbornness. And this is a very quick reading just to show you kind of how this works. Now these two next cards, this one is the force behind things and the form it takes. So it's saying part of this as well is um, not wanting to put the work in. Again, this goes down to stubbornness, um, you know, feeling um, drained of energy. This can also be about just not wanting results, but not wanting to put the work in, not wanting to take the time in, um, just, you know, wanting to do things a certain way, but not wanting it, it comes up when people sort of the page of pentacles reverse when people want other people to do the work for them they want the results but they don't want to put the effort in is basically what it boils down to and then the form it's taking is it causes conflict we have the two of cups reversed so this gives you an idea of sort of where this conflict is coming from it says that you know um, individuals are being stubborn um, but they don't want to take the put the work in to work things out and so it results in a conflict between two people then the next two lines here show you um, what's good about this. What are, have you learned from this? What, what good is going on here? And then what's negative? What still needs to be overcome? So what we're seeing good about this is it's saying that you're being called um, to, to something higher. You're being called to rise above this. We've got the judgment card here. You're being called to move on, to move forward, to do things differently. And that this was, you know, a wake up call of kind of a kind. So, you know, it can be a good thing calling you forced to do something different. And what still needs to be work on? We have here the 10 of wands. Um, to not let other people's issues become a burden, um, to not carry other people's problems, and also to ask for help, to not be afraid to ask for help, to ask for assistance, to say you can't do things all by yourself. You can ask for help. So that's just a quick example there. The next line here shows the emotions and the thoughts going on. So the first thing here we have is the Ace of Cups, which is emotions which says that part of the solution to this is to open up your heart, open up your feelings, um, use your intuition, be inspired, um, and open yourself up to the potential of, you know, that other person coming forward. So it's about being open hearted. And thought wise, it's saying to focus on success. We have the six of wands here. It's saying that 
um, thought wise part of overcoming this is to focus on success, to focus on um, what you've succeeded at and what you're doing well at, to be positive. So it gives you some idea of some of the dynamics going on and, and different ways you can think about that particular conflict or issue. Um, the next card here it's talking about what triggered this. So we know kind of what the energies are behind this particular conflict or issue. We know what we're learning from it, um, what we can do moving forward, but what triggered this event? And here we have the Eight of Pentacles, um, which is interesting because this is really about hard work and craftsmanship, um, doing an art form. Um, it's about working on what you love and that um, perhaps, you know, um, that triggered that person, you know, seeing someone else doing things that they love to do. That may have been the trigger for, um, you know, for the particular conflict that was going on. The next one is how did that conflict manifest? And it's in, you know, people taking foolish risks or maybe saying things that foolishly that they don't mean. We have the fool reversed here. So again, that goes back to this card here saying, you know, that there was foolish uh, sort of conflict going on. And then finally, the last card is advice moving forward. We did get some of that here with emotions and thoughts about things, but it says here we have the moon. And the moon is about listening to the subconscious. Uh, it is about following our intuition. It's about giving things time, letting things be uncertain. It's about, um, you know, just trusting that intuitive nature and also trusting our um, our psychic abilities and also our magical abilities as well. So, you know, you can see how looking at this, it doesn't really interfere with, um, it's not really talking about like the other person or anything. It's really just saying like, okay, you have a conflict with this person and part of it is about this. Um, you know, this is what you're learning from it. This is what kind of triggered it. So it gives you an idea to look at that conflict and look at those issues and then what you need to do moving forward. So it can be a very helpful shadow work type spread. So again, if you're interested in me doing this reading for you, you can go to my shop, uh, but I'm going to have it on a low price for the month of November. It's called the Behind the Veil reading. However, if you want to do this for yourself, feel free to use this spread to adjust it as you need to. Um, I would love to hear what you think and, and what your results are of this. And thank you again so much for watching.